a teacher actually stopped me in middle school and we had to choose a career field trip and she's like noticed pictures on the back of my album um, like binders and she was like who took these and I was like me and she's like what's your career field trip and I said um, cosmetology because all my friends were doing it and then she's like go to the office right now and change it Hmm. and that literally changed the entire course of my life which is kind of crazy Welcome back to another episode of Moving the Mountain, a creative leadership podcast. We have a very special episode for you guys today. We are with the founding members of Move Mountains Co., both Tiana Lynn Samaro and Joshua Mile. Full name. <laughs> wow. So we get some you lower thirds names. on that? Yeah, you can. Perfect. My yeah. fo- I think my contact in your phone is Josh Miguel still. Yeah, it is. It's like been seven years. <laughs> Which is changed. tough because when I tell Siri to call Josh Mile, I have to say Josh Miguel. Most Sorry. people don't know how to pronounce his last name. I am Spanish, if you don't know, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that so, makes sense, Spanish. But. Today we're going to be covering some topics of basically how we started the company, some of the pain points of scaling throughout the years, as we are a company that is now doing over 300 weddings per year, so it can be quite intense. Uh, we're going to get into some tips for couples, uh, what to expect on the day, and what they should kind of be planning for and thinking through. And then we're also going to be just kind of touching base on some pointers for shooters. So Absolutely. let's get sure. right into it. Josh, why don't we start with you? Oh, uh, well, actually, before we start, this episode is brought to you by Spindrift. It's one of our favorite drinks in the studio. Keeps us going, refreshing, has a very natural flavor. Uh, we love it around here. This is my personal favorite. You got a great fruit. It's real squeezed fruit. Did you know that? Only thing it is tough drinking carbonated water. Makes you a little gassy on the podcast. <laughs> gassy? A little I wouldn't gassy. Know. Really? Wow. Yeah, you start burping a lot. And oh, all. well, is that gassy? Uh, so, yeah, Josh, we'll start with you. Um, <laughs> why don't you tell us, like, how you got involved with photography and videography? Because mm-hmm. uh, I know when we first met, you're mainly just doing photo. And uh, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, met Sean at an uh, internship program mm-hmm. uh, that we did. And I was just part of like local church. He was going to the inter- internship program. And I saw him like working on some Photoshop stuff. I think you were making like an emailer. Hmm. I think like a long time ago. And, um, I was like, I was doing Photoshop stuff for the church, you know? So I was like, Oh, what's he working on? I'm like, Oh, it looks pretty cool. You know? So, and then you started talking to me like, Oh yeah, I got a photo video company, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, let me work for you. (laughs) Let me help you out. You know? Um, I remember you asking, we had, we didn't have any photo gigs and I know you did photos like your main thing. And, uh, I was like, well, I was like, we have a bunch of video openings. (laughs) I was like, do you want to learn video? And you're like, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it definitely a challenge. I mean, this was back then when what, we were using Mark Threes, Canon 5D right. Mark Threes, manual focus, right. mainly on the monopod. Yep. You know? Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of when I started. I've never, never done video before. Um, and now, years later, <laughs> uh, it's, you know, full time job. Yeah. So, that's crazy. Tiana, how about you? How did you get into photography and. Mm-hmm. How did you get linked up with the company? I think the bringing it way back would be watching my mom be a wedding photographer during the film age. Really? Yeah. I never knew She is that old. No. You're not that much (laughs) younger than her. (laughs) That's true. That is funny. That is funny. Um, So I kind of was influenced by that, but I think I've always had a creative um, way of life. I didn't really succeed in educational realms really so school was really tough for me but photography was always just kind of back there I used to make videos with my friends and we always be like used to be creative and everything um together and just making taking photos making videos really silly stuff and then a teacher actually stopped me in middle school and we had to choose a career field trip and she's like noticed pictures on the back of my album um, like binders and she was like, who took these? And I was like, me. And she's like, what's your career field trip? And I said, Photo- um, cosmetology, because all my friends were doing it. And then she's like, go to the office right now and change it. Hmm. And that literally changed the entire course of my life, wow. which is kind of crazy. So yeah, smart woman. Dappled in it. Um, she was my science teacher, but she was a photographer herself. 
Huh? Still never banked her. <laughs> I don't know where she is <laughs> or what she's up to. I can't. I think it was M- Mrs. McLeod, I think. Mrs. McLeod. Shout, Shout out. out. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so then I went to the school that I attended for 10 months um, several years later. Then I was in, uh, what was it, Rhode Island Creatives mm-hmm. Facebook thing. A um, few mutual friends, few mutual alumni went to it. Brian, Ryan. Um, who else was in there? Kim. Kim. Yeah. Kristen, I think, at some point. Yeah, they all, did they all attend Hallmark? Kim did? No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. But, yeah, so Brian and Ryan both attended the same college that I did. Mm-hmm. And then, so I had mutual friends in there and met Sean. And then it was one other meetup, and you said, hey, can we connect? And that was 2018, right? 17. 17. End wow. of 17. And when did you kind of come on? I mean... I think the second year or first, 2016? first year, first year we started doing video, I think. Yeah. That's when I came on. Yeah. And then our first wedding, all three of us were there, Tyler and Bryn. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Shout out Tyler and Bryn. Great wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it was still, still to this day a great wedding. So what do you guys find? Like, what do you feel like was, uh, maybe like the hardest year? Ooh. Hardest um, year of the company? has to be back on like Cromwell days. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't I know. I mean, last year was tough. Yeah. But I don't know, like probably the, probably the first year we actually scaled up to like yeah. 150 weddings. I think we had, or maybe a little bit more than that. For sure. I think where that was. Yeah. So 2019, we were doing 115 weddings and in my mind, that was probably like the hardest season for us. That was like, we had never done that. We had never done that. And we were all like still kind of figuring it out. Um, and I think the year before we had only done 60 Mm -hmm. and I think we had a pretty skeleton crew. We didn't have any processes. So I remember one thing that stands out to me is like coming back from every gig, loading in the memory cards. Oh, yeah. Importing every night. Importing everything (laughs) to like 3 a.m. Yeah. I remember one night where I just like laid down on the box (laughs) or like on a floor. No, we were like concrete floor sleepers. Like it was not easy. Well, the the problem was is because we we needed cards for like the next day, day, you know? And that was the other part was just like, okay, like we're going to have to, we're importing everything. Hopefully we got everything. And then we're clearing cards. We got to delete everything. Right. And that was always like, oh, do we have it? How many yeah. files do you have? 315? Okay. <laughs> At like All right, two I'm going to wipe it. I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, smart. Really smart. I'd end up yeah. to a shoot and there'd be an engagement session on it. And I'd be like, do we have this? Did yeah, we import right, it? Right. Stick it back in the card case and try to like very be specific on what I shoot because I didn't want to fill up a full card. Another thing, too, that I didn't realize at the time, we had bought these hard drives, and I thought they were set to a RAID, which is basically a redundancy, and it creates a copy automatically. Um, It turns out that you had to install some kind of program for it to create a RAID. No. (laughs) And so there was never a copy. Just thinking there's backups, and you never... (laughs) I thought there were backups. There were no backups. No. When did you figure that out? A couple years later. If you only have one backup, you have zero backups. Zero backups. Exactly. That is tip one for sure. The other kind of standout memory uh, for me is uh, is working in my apartment before we even had a space. So (laughs) when you say that, I remember you texting me and like sending pictures of this kid Josh, like looking at either spaces. Or it was like pictures and videos and you were like, what are you, what do you think of this space? And I'm like, I don't know who this guy is. Like, <laughs> and he's asking me, oh yeah, we just put up the tables and so on and so forth. Like, that's crazy. So that was like very early on. Yeah. Well, I remember he was working on yeah. the bar. We were setting up like Ikea yeah. furniture, our first yep. computer. We did like yeah. a little yeah. time, time lapse of it. We were it. doing like graphic design I feel like a lot like logos and yeah. stuff yeah and uh snapchat snapchat filters, filters. Oh geo my filters. Gosh. Geo filters. Yeah. Yeah. filters I remember that, that was the that add-on that was like I was like this the worst idea because <laughs> <laughs> like that is not a thing I was, anymore I was literally whatsoever. like this is distinguishing no. our company no this literally just happened somebody said geotag the other day at really? a wedding and I, I'm almost positive I just yeah. feel like the the reach on snapchat is just not oh, the no. same as it's like not. any other platform you'd be better to like make yourself a filter on instagram or something for yeah. you why did we do that i think it was like pretty popular at the time Absolutely. and i was like this is like i was like if everyone's like taking photos they're gonna see the geo filter and then they'll see our name on it marketing and i was like <laughs> that's great it's true it's true so I, I, remember get, it us. I remember getting texts like where's the geo filter <laughs> and i'd be like what do you mean it the geo filter's not be there 
like it's freaking not out there wow <laughs> think about how small that worry is now like yeah that's well we don't do geo filters well i know but how like i knew it it was but how big of a deal it was for us yeah back then yeah, it was yeah. huge and that's it kind of maybe it like worked i don't know everything yeah. seemed like a big deal back then i think everything still is a big deal yeah. oh I, it still is but, but i feel like the at least my worry of it yeah you know um I remember in the very early days, it was, I think it was the first wedding that you and Andre had shot and uh, the bride, you know, kind of was like very upset about some stuff. And like, turns out she loved the video, but like for whatever, she made like a huge deal. And I was like anxious for like two months. No, the anxiety that we've experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Is <laughs> through the roof. It must not have been me filming that. It was probably just Andre. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had one complaint, and that complaint was invalid. It was invalid. It really was. <laughs> well, well, well. I remember getting that complaint, and I'm like, at first I was like, I was like, and then I was like, that doesn't sound like Josh at all. That was stressful. Yeah. I was like, can I see it? And he was like, you don't want to see you it. You don't want it. And wow. I, remember, I remember reading it, and it was just like paragraph after paragraph after paragraph <laughs> about how unprofessional I was. I mean, wow. granted, wedding was at Rosecliff. Maybe I should have wore a full uh, suit. full suit full penguin in suit. the middle of like August where okay. it's the hottest in New England. Would have been great, you know, but yeah. then they got the video and they're like, oh my God, wow. Yeah, they like, wow, he's not an unprofessional <laughs> child. Whoa, yeah. he's really good. Whoa. I wonder but if it's people, whatever, you know? yeah, I wonder if people see, I mean, I know that people see our, our staff and they're like, you guys are young. Like, oh yeah. Very yeah. Young. Well, oh, especially back then too. Yeah. Like we were, I mean, I think I started at 17. Yeah. 17? I think so, yeah. How old are you? 21? 20? 21? Oh, right. <laughs> it's like, wait, Me? what? <laughs> right now? I'm 27 now, so I don't know. I've been here for, what, has it been four and a half, five years? Yeah. Five years? I'm 25. I don't know, I think I, 20, I know I've been here longer than, than everybody. Yeah. But I always get, I always get it mixed up. I don't know, it's six years or seven years, I don't know. I almost go by seasons. What's gonna, we're, we're in our seventh season, and to give you a kind of a timeline, so we had done, I think, like 25 weddings first year, then it was like 40, 50, and then it was 60, and we scaled to 2019, we scaled to 115, and then, COVID. And then 2020, we had 150, Dang. which I think we were, were not prepared for. No. Um, so like 50 something. And because we rescheduled 100 of those, we ended up doing 250 in 2021, <laughs> which I thought was our smoothest year. Yeah. I honestly feel like that. Besides the the gear, the gear, the lack of gear, and, and the, the cards, the cards, yeah, and the buildings, the no, building no, we were the, in, that was a challenge. Was a challenge, yeah. Missing cards. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you feel like? Um, what do you feel like was like a big contributor to the success of the company? <laughs> to the success of it, I mean. I think it's just having. Well, I think it's the culmination of like. I think good work ethics yeah. and yeah. also, you know, a good boss. And I would oh. say, Don't make even though, even though, you know, becoming a boss or like leading a team for the first time isn't something like you're typically, you might be good at it like naturally and that just comes to you. Um, but if it doesn't come to you, you know, um, it can be tougher trying to figure out how do I manage each person? Cause everyone's so right. different. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, training, like specifically showing, this is how you do it going mm -hmm. out to the gig with you know me or whatever just yeah. looking at my camera and be like all right because i always remember when we were first starting it's like all right make sure you punch in you gotta punch in because yeah. if you don't punch in it's probably soft and i'm it, like it looks it's, like it's, it's in not it's i not swear <laughs> um I, yeah and, you know i think it's just a lot of reputation mm. and um consistency you know, like success doesn't come in a snap right uh, mm -hmm. we've been working at this like we said for you know seven seasons right so you know i think you get you get lucky if you like, you know, snap and like you're successful. Um, but, you know, I think having somebody to look to for advice, how do I shoot this? How, how should I do this? Definitely helps out a lot. Uh, definitely in the long run. But I think consistency shooting over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Because um, when I started, I started taking photos in my church. And so for years and years, I had just taken photos. And in the beginning, they sucked. They were terrible, <laughs> you know? But then you start to see, like, okay, this is how I want my photo to look. This is how, you know, they should look. And as you start progressing, you get better and better. And I think that's how I got better at, at filming and being a videographer, photographer, was just working mm -hmm. and then going out shooting, the being experience. active with it. 
Um, and always having it in the back of my head that, you know, this is something I need to work on continually. Because it's like when we shoot weddings, we, uh, you know, we have this off season in the winter. And it always feels like if we're not shooting in that off season or doing stuff, then that first wedding back, you, you feel like, yeah, rusty. What, what, am I, yes. what am I telling the couple? Yeah. Like, what, right. what poses are we doing? Because mm-hmm. you're like trying to like get back into the flow of it. Yeah. But being like, you know, productive throughout the whole entire year and continually shooting, um, it definitely, definitely, I think helps. I think another thing is not settling. Because, I mean, with you, you've obviously like always had a vision and a goal to do something bigger and better the next year. So it's like, oh, this this season, what was it? The first time you were like, I want to do 200 weddings. Obviously, you didn't reach that whatsoever. But if you didn't like. It's true. Yeah. What? What did you You end up doing? Was it like, was it 50? (laughs) Did you end up doing 50 weddings your first year? Yeah. I think from the. Or 25 or something. From the rip, it was supposed to be like 100 weddings. That was kind of what we were trying to, which we didn't hit from. Till 2019. Yeah, so that's several years. But if you didn't start with that vision or that dream or that goal, you wouldn't have even thought that you could go even bigger and better. So like now we're like, oh, 400 weddings next year. Imagine like seven, 2017 right. you being like, let's shoot 400 weddings. Like, are you kidding <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah. I didn't think that was possible. I mean, right. I, th- I didn't even know if 100 was possible. It seemed doable. But then yeah. like to, when we were moving all those weddings over into from the pandemic into an already booked year. Yeah. I was like, Oh God, how are we going to do this? Still, and still booking for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I honestly feel like 2020 was a pretty good year for us, even though it was a little right. bit lighter than what it was supposed to be. Yeah. It I helped think, us. I think it, yeah, I think it definitely benefited from that. Definitely. The rollover though, that was a little tricky, but still went smoother than I anticipated. To answer that, that previous question, I would say like never kind of quitting. Cause it was hard, you know, yeah. and oh, no. we always <laughs> seem to, push through and and you guys kind of being like you know the like the like the core you know um you guys like allowed yourselves to be like pushed and like continue like take feedback and kind of improve um and then also just like kind of grab like the like the ethos of the company where like now you kind of like instill that into like these second year shooters Mm -hmm. and like uh you know i'm always impressed like by josh because you know you're saying like you know, the, about the client experience and you're like, you know, you, you have so much ownership over the craft. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just like, how did, how did we get there? Like, you know, Uh, well, I think, you know, like uh, what I always say, you know, in our meetings and and to our other shooters, um, it's like, yeah, you're talented and we have this gift, you know, um, a wedding day is probably the happiest day of people's lives and you don't want to screw that up for anybody. Um, so yeah, you got your talent, which is awesome. Um, but if you have, if you have a terrible attitude or like oh, you create yeah. a bad like experience for the couple, right. um, I think that's one of the biggest things, um, where like you put your talent aside, if you're not a good people person, if you can't talk to a, you know, a couple or, or your bride or groom, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, cause really we're also using our talents, but we're also rendering us, you know, our services to them. Um, but then how we act around them, how we talk to them, uh, bringing a different experience, you know, um, I think that's what really yeah. also changes right. how the wedding day feels, how the couple feels after the wedding, um, you know. And so I think if you're doing really anything you can for the couple, so it's like I want you need water, you need food. Mm-hmm. What do you guys need? You're right. cold. You need a jet. Like you yeah. know, just asking them whatever they need and, and really being, uh, you know, serving the the couple. Literally right. serving. Um, right. Yeah. So now I think that's what really helped the company too as well because I, I feel like that's how me and Tiana are and and you're right. the same way. And so I think the, also, you know, the sales managers at venues see that the, you know, coordinators at venues see that, um, since we're always like connecting with them, yeah. what do you guys need help with? You know, do you need drone shots? Do you need like, mm-hmm. you know, like when we went to, um, what was it? Blythewald. Blythewald. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just like, Hey, what do you need? And, um, she's like, Oh, well I need videos. And, uh, and I, you know, I need some like printout materials. So I think we gave her like a photo booth pack it and we yeah gave her, and we were like do we have like an apple tv so we just like we had an apple tv that we didn't use so we gave her an apple tv so wow. she could display like videos to clients that's um awesome. and i think that's another uh you know thing to talk about success in the company is that we took it really serious in the beginning and so right. i think that's how we were able to get preferred across you know Very. mostly every venue in in New- newport i would say you know and across yeah. new england we've been to quite a few pretty much yeah, we've you know? had like a lot of success with like getting in with vendors, uh, seem to really like us and, um, 
venues. And I feel like that was as simple as like, we were very intentional about like our posting on social right. and our sharing of the, it's like, the, I, that's the biggest response is right. people, vendors and venues coming back to us being like, even when I show up again, they're like, yeah. you guys are the only photographers that I work with. And this isn't not everybody, but a lot of people are like, nobody sends us content. We're still waiting yeah. from June of last year. Yeah. We can't get the photographers to send us stuff. And it's like, why wouldn't you want to be yeah. uh, like a contributor to people's other people's success in those areas? Yeah. It always blew my mind where like, I know there's this one um, florist, Botanica, Botanica. Yes, yes, yes. I love um, her. She's so sweet. She's awesome. Does great work. She Every time I see her, she's like, Same. oh, I love you guys. Yes. I love yes. you guys. Yes. You yes. always send me the stuff and it looks she great. She you know? all the time. Um, yeah. I always, always was really confused by photographers who never, you know, sent their work to the vendors because it's right. like, that's just another area where you can grow your business. Right. Absolutely. You know? Cause if we, you know, we start sending it to every single vendor, you know, Literally after every wedding, every we send it to every vendor that we have. Um, you know, so I think just being consistent with that and doing it all, all the time, they're going to post your work. They're going to tag you. Right. Mm -hmm. Their clients are going to see it. We even, yeah. And it's just an ever revolving cycle where it's right. like, if you're not doing that, <laughs> why aren't you doing it? You know? Um, cause it's, it's really free. It's free money, free advertisement, you know? Absolutely. Right. But it, it, it generates those connections as well. And right. Yeah. Then they're re referring us. Mm -hmm. And I remember too, like that kind of became like, um, a paradigm shift where it was like, we were like, okay, we're posting on social media all the time. And then we're like, we should be really focusing on, uh, highlighting other the people, vendors, you people know, that make the wedding happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. The and then, cause team. they're going to be the ones like sharing it. Um, so I felt like that really helped too. And those vendor referrals always like when we get an inquiry from a vendor referral, like those always closed. Right. Yep. 10 times, 20 times higher oh, than sure. anything Absolutely. else. But, um, yeah, that was something I, I learned back to like the client experience. That was actually something I learned from you, um, uh, where I was like, I think in the beginning I was so focused on having a great product. I was like, the photo is going to be so good. And like, you know, in a way that's caring about the mm -hmm. client, right? right yeah. uh, where it's like, I want to get them what they paid for. I want it to be the best. Um, and so, you know, we would scrutinize photos, galleries, edits, video edits, you know, we're always trying to like push, push, still, learn, still learn. do. Still, yeah. still do. <laughs> uh, you know, the quality control too is like orange. <laughs> <laughs> too magenta. Send it back. Yeah, You should see how many forms we have now. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, quality forms. Um, but yeah, like, but then there, that was like another paradigm shift too. Cause I heard you always kind of talking about the client experience in mm -hmm. the day. And I started thinking about, well, yeah, it's like they're spending more time with us than their significant other. They're spending right. more time yeah. with us on the wedding day than anybody else. Yeah. So it's like making sure that they're, you know, enjoying us like, and enjoying like right. hanging out with us and, you know, we're bringing energy and we're, yeah. you know, being a support and like you said, like serving the couple. Uh, I feel yeah. like that has been like really big with, you know, people loving the experience definitely and like re yeah. referring us i think that's like once we receive like reviews back from our team it's like they were such a blast to work with they right. were so funny and it's yeah. just like lightening the mood and we just had a bride and she had a really tough morning because her hair wasn't how she wanted it and that's we've seen it multiple times and it's tough because you expect this yeah. day to be perfect right but it's really important to ensure your couples like just enjoy the moment have fun sometimes they're putting so much pressure on it because so yeah. much expectation they've been yeah. planning it for so yeah. long they want it to be perfect yeah it has to you be know? perfect this, has, this yeah. is the you biggest have a day one chance you know, right. your life Hopefully. nothing can go yeah. wrong you know that's what the weddings is like if one thing goes wrong early in the day it really does it, mess up the flow or it can really affect like right. the mental you know mindset of how the day is going to go yeah just off of one thing you know so speaking of, of, of that um kind of walking into a wedding day like what are some things that like you guys do to like prepare for a successful wedding day um overall or yeah overall i mean i'm always successful no. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody messing with me no for me it's just checking my timeline making sure that i know where i'm going i'm super particular about arriving early on yeah. like early to weddings um so i'm like probably 30 minutes to our early call time so yeah, definitely typically i i map out my um my travels and then making sure i have cards batteries cameras I like to have an extra camera just in case. So I have two, Smart. you know, like I always like to double check that I have things that if I do fail, I have backups. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, getting there early is the biggest thing for me. Yeah. It's definitely the same getting there early. I mean, like I feel like if, if you're rushing in the morning, 
during a wedding. That's oh. usually what will throw you off yeah. for the whole day. It's the um, worst. Just because you want to have time to ma- make sure you're getting everything. And um, if, you, if you don't have that time or you feel like you're rushing, you know, everything just kind of gets a little sloppy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, was, yeah, I always like to give myself like an hour, 30 minutes uh, early. Just in case. You never know what can happen. Um, we have gotten rear-ended at a wedding before. <sighs> I got yeah. rear-ended. Yeah, you did, uh, but I was with you. <laughs> I, I've hit in some crazy traffic, too, heading up to the Cape, like, even, like, oh. with le- leaving early. Oh, yeah. Like, no, there was one so time gross. I was just... And there's nothing worse than, like, being anxious, like, heading into a wedding. No, it's terrible. Yeah, if, especially the Cape. I mean, if you're... If you think you can leave, like... Right on the time. time actually, actually no. says... You better add yeah, you two, messed up. two plus hours. <laughs> yeah. Three, maybe. Yeah, and that's always... I mean, I mean, also, think about the client... <laughs> Where the heck's my photographer? You I'm know, sorry, just in the Cape, stuck on the bridge. Because yeah. like, if, if oh, the photographer yeah. or the videographer is not there, did it happen? Yet, yeah, and that's exactly. like, I feel like that's that's oh. the tone of the wedding too. You know? Yeah. Oh no, oh, yeah. no, I've had that happen before. Where oh yeah, oh yeah, we, yeah. really. Oh, but it was all a misunderstanding. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was really some tough. timeline issues. Timeline issues, but that's yeah. Having a tight timeline is very important, and having clear communications is yeah. like another huge thing on both parties. Yeah, actually, like looking at your timeline. Yeah. Before right. the day of the the wedding. But I was. Like, oh shoot. <laughs> I I was in fact an hour and a half early. Yeah. To my call time. Right. Yeah. And the bride thought I was in a half hour late. Yeah. And that was not. Everything turned out great. Great couple. Yeah, super, and I mean, the reason nice, but. we worry about those things too is because we care so much about the client. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, you know, any of our clients watching this now, like the reason we are so, you know, particular about how we work and, uh, you know, is because we want to make sure you're getting the best day possible. And, mm-hmm. you know, that like, we really take pride in that. And, uh, cause we know, you know, we have to be on our A game so you get you know, the best quality images, uh, and pictures, memories you can hold on to forever. Um, so I think, you know, that it's a big thing for me too. Like I know I got to bring my A game every single wedding. Um, cause I wouldn't want, you know, some photographer coming to shoot my wedding who is, (laughs) is, you know, is going to put in half the work or half the effort. Isn't going to, you know, be busting it, running around, hustling around. Um, you know, I want a photographer that's going to do their best job. And, uh, you know, because would you want that to happen on your wedding day? Yeah. Would you right. want like a mediocre, you know, job done by by whoever you're hiring and paying thousands of dollars? That no, absolutely, absolutely no, not. No. You only get one shot, and so um, you get you got to make sure you, you know you're on top of everything. Yeah, so. I think over time it starts naturally like filling you. Yeah. Like when we, when I arrived to a wedding, I'm like, okay, let's go. Like even in the morning, if I'm like Ugh, another wedding, yeah, we, I get there. I'm like, all right, let's go. We, We're having fun. Me like, and Tiana and like, <laughs> just like <laughs> good vibes. <laughs> good yes, energy. I remember that. And Hey, it, it worked. worked. It, worked. That, it, worked. That, it was like Casey and Cassandra's wedding. Yes, that, was, and that, was, that was funny. That one that was, was great. Yeah, that was, was good. Nice morning up, we were like, all right, today. Just yelling at each other in the car. Good vibes, <laughs> good vibes. You know, being silly. <laughs> But when we got there, we looked at each other. We're like, good vibes. Because yeah. <laughs> we walked in well, and yeah, we're like, definitely. how's it going? How's it like, and you know, you got to set yourself up for that. Right. You can't just be yeah. dragging your feet in because people are going to notice it. Right. Yeah. 110%. Yeah. That affects other people too. Oh. We come in, in with a lot of energy. Right. They're going to come back at us with a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. You know, they're going to be excited. They're going to be happy. Um, and you, you kind of like, you know, sometimes you got an early start time. Get a Red Bull. Get mm-hmm. a coffee, mm-hmm. get an espresso, whatever you need. Espresso. <laughs> espresso. Uh, you know, and just walk in there, kill it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of energy, high energy. And once you get the system down pat, I think it definitely gives you a little bit more room to be yourself and you're excited, yeah. but you understand the assignment and you understand like how to capture what you're looking for. So yeah, I mean, I still, you, I still yeah. get nervous. I know. Yeah. yeah. Same. <laughs> I was nervous at the, driving up to the engagement session yesterday. <laughs> I was like... Okay. <laughs> I take deep breaths in the car. I did an engagement session too the, the other day at the Dunes, and I was like, I was like, I just, this is, <laughs> I'm intimidated. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, so I mean, funny. it happens. So, yeah, you it know. does. Yeah, you get that tension. Well, that's a good thing, day. though. I mean, yeah. yeah, I feel like that's a good thing. Yeah. I think so. It keeps you on your feet. Surprisingly, like, when I do video, though, I'm not really nervous. Interesting. I yeah, think, I think when you put a thousand hours I'd into be nervous. something, it's like photo is like carrying the day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like they're That's directing what it everything. Is. And then yeah. video is more equipment. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's like photo is easier because it's like less equipment. But you have to have a voice. 
and control. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. You run the day. It Farm bring you gotta bring more energy. Day. Yeah. For sure. mm-hmm. Yeah. Then video doing video. Oh, you just I couldn't do it. Hands off. Not carrying me. a lot of stuff. Yeah. Running around. A lot more running around uh, for sure. It's like well, you got four, up people. Four cameras, audio. Right. Uh, it's insane. You know, setting up for the ceremony, setting up for speeches. You get there's always things you're gonna set up. You got a drone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got like so many yeah. moving parts. Yeah. Um so that's why you very have to be on your A game, especially if you're solo. And I think that's where like, you know, we're very particular about like who we choose to work with and who we choose to train really. Right. Um you know, cause this is really an industry of like freelance and we're kind of, we've always kind of been more like, all right, we want team members. We want people on staff yeah. uh, because we want that much control over like the client experience and the quality of the, of the product. Um, and I feel like that's been huge with us with like who we decide to work with. Um, and we're pretty careful about moving into those relationships. Um, and then that's where I feel like you guys' leadership like really kind of comes in and, you know, you guys are out there on every gig, like talking, like training them and talking to them. Uh, and we spent so much time, you know, usually just putting people on before they even, they're just shadowing for right. a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, just to kind of learn our process. Um, so I feel like that, that's kind of been like another thing too. Um, and that kind of brings up segues into an, another kind of conversation. How, how has it been, because this is really an industry of freelance, right? Uh, everybody's kind of their own business owner. Um, what, what was your experience as far as like transitioning from the freelance method? Um, cause you guys kind of both came on staff. You were about a year after Josh. Um, what's been like your experience like with that? Um, and, and how do you guys, how do you guys like that compared to kind of what, what the industry, uh, is that? So like for a freelance versus working full time. Wait, yes. Do you have that phone call? I believe it's at 430. So it's at 4.30. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. And we're going to go live, sorry, sorry, with, sorry, that sorry. live with that call. Sales call? Live sales call? Let's call. see if, let's see if they'll close. If they'll close no. on the All phone. Right. I'm going to need you to close. <laughs> we're live on the podcast. <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I need you to close. <laughs> didn't want though. I didn't know if it was that All right, all right. We have a thousand people watching live. Will yes. they book? <laughs> Will you book? You're live on air. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That would oh be my funny. word! They're like, oh, ah, uh, uh, yes. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh man. So freelance versus like full time. Yeah. In in the office. And you guys have, yeah. Obviously, you guys started freelance at this company. Right. So mm-hmm. kind of like. Well, I mean, obviously, freelance offers a little more freedom. Yep. You know, it's kind of like the word, the shoot, name. drop off your cards, you're done. Right. You know, um, where a lot of people who don't want the. Uh, the weight and pressure of running their own company, you know, they turn to, you know, a different company and, you know, that company outsources the work to them as a freelancer. Now where I think what I kind of preferred, whereas I did not want to run a company by myself because I I thought that was a lot of pressure and I didn't know everything, um, you know, and some people just kind of just go for it and that's great. But I was like, oh, I I want to, don't want to do a disservice to, you know, clients that I could potentially get. Cause I don't really know a lot. Um, so I wanted to be part of a team, you know, and that, uh, that's where I found move mountains, you know, and, uh, working in the studio, I think is a whole lot different than, you know, you actually get some camaraderie, you get to know your, you know, other shooters, people that you're working with all the time, uh, how they act kind of like, you know, their mannerisms, you know, just kind of, you get to know each other. Um, and so I think when working with a team, that's most important. It's like, mm-hmm. if you don't know your team, you know, right. um, you might not work as well together, you know? And so I think, you know, I've been working with Tiana for like five, six years. Yeah, and I think crazy. that's why we work so well together. Right. And like the way we work, it's like, it's uh, you know, like we don't even have to like say anything. We kind of just know, right. yeah. you know, we know where we're moving. We know where we're going, where we're like <laughs> walking backwards, like taking like walking shots, you know, whatever. It's almost it, like, like a practice dance. Yeah. It's, right. it's weird. And this year I think is the year where I was like, <laughs> whoa, like, yeah, I really realized that I'm like, we're very in tune Definitely. to what we are looking for. I don't know. We had somebody comment that on that at Mike and Monica's wedding. Yeah. Or people yeah. just and think we're married. The, that's, that too. that's a huge Always. thing. So I, how'd you guys meet? <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> our boss. She actually <laughs> shot my wedding. <laughs> but, oh man. I, yeah. I think, well, that's also another thing. I think comparing like uh, being a freelancer and working in the office, I do think, um, you know, there, there just isn't that like, like familiarity yeah that friendship level right where i do think that really does rub off on you on the day of the wedding you know because i know with a lot of our freelancers although they're great workers um and they're good at what they do 
uh, you don't really know everything about them. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know how they kind of act all the time. So yeah, you can kind of, you know, you never really know what you're going to get. That's why I prefer like having people like finding the right people that we really connect with, um, training them, even if it's from the ground up. Uh, I almost prefer that, you know, it's a bigger investment. It's, it's, it takes longer. Um, I, I love that because, you know, you have people like invested into the company. They're going to care about the clients more. They're going to care about, you know, um, I think they just, it's, it's a better feel. Like it feels closer and Mm -hmm. like more intimate. And, um, you know, I think that like kind of shows like to, to the couples. For sure. Yeah. I was the same way. I, I started out obviously as a freelancer, um, but I lived in New Hampshire, so that was really tough. The traveling sucked me dry. Like that was really tricky. And then like the drive. hotels and stuff. It's it's a decent it's like hour drive. thirty quick. Yeah, but you do a full wedding. <laughs> yeah, so it's like another. And then three you drive hours. back. Yeah, so yeah. that's not always fun. That wasn't fun, but right. Yeah. Was, this is why we got here. Exactly. Here I am, full time. She took some convincing, though. I yeah, yeah. Years. Years. Well, yeah. years. I definitely couldn't survive off of what I was going to be making. My, my first offer, we were a young company. I, my first offers weren't And crazy. I knew, I knew yeah. that. And I knew that you wouldn't be able to, it wouldn't I couldn't work. afford her. Yeah, <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. But realistically. Now we can afford. Now we can anywhere. afford. <laughs> Everybody and some. No, I think the biggest thing for me is like, I really enjoy not having the weight of a company. I suck at dealing with money and like, I don't like dealing with it. Like right. invoicing people and emailing people. And like, that is just not my vibe. I do, I'm not yeah. a studio manager. I'm not a marketing manager. Like I'm not very great at those things. Yeah. So being able to show up and shoot and still be a part of a, like a, a group, which is really fun. I don't know. I make, it feels like it makes it more fun than definitely does. Solo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The days are usually like you're coming to work and like, you know, we have fun. So you guys all friends. So it's like, you know, it's like, yeah. Yeah. It can I mean, be some yeah, definitely. tough days, but like, yeah, it's, it is fun. I feel like there's a good separation between work and, and friendship. Mm-hmm. You know, we kind of know, you know, when we're in the office, mm-hmm. obviously, you know, we're working, Yep. but we're also friends. Mm-hmm. But you got to find the fine line in between the two, you know, where it's I like, get jealous sometimes. Cause like I'm always in the <laughs> office and it's like work, work, work. And then like, but I'm not out in the field as much anymore. Yeah. And so like, you guys always look like you're having so much fun. It's getting old. And guys. I'm like, I was like, I wish I went to this wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Should I show up? No, yeah. wait, like, Do you guys need me? <laughs> Are you sure you don't need me? Should I come That's through? So Should I just like come through? Come no, through. I mean, yeah, it is true. Sometimes you're FOMO, you know, you don't yeah. want to miss out. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I mean, nowadays I like leave weddings and I'm like, let's go. Like, where is that energy coming from? <laughs> yeah. Some nights, like I used to get so exhausted and be like, okay, I'm done. But now I'm just like, all right, that was great. Let's do another yeah. one. Yeah. Especially when that dance floor opens up. Brandon and Julianne's Honestly. wedding, man. Oh. And after that was party. Crazy. I, was I can't They want to leave. <laughs> I know. It was a little begrudging at first. It's like, all right, like now we got the after party. We're going to stay 20 minutes, get the shots we need. But then you see but it. But then, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah it's it's awesome. so much right. worth it. That yeah, effort yeah, yeah. and like yeah. that draw to capture those moments, it's going to make it 10 oh, times better. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So kind of, jealous. kind of speaking of like, uh, let's transition it to a little bit of like the client uh, perspective, right? Mm-hmm. And they've, they've booked their photo video. Um, what do you feel like some things that the client should be, or these couples should be thinking about, uh, ahead of time to really like ensure like good photos or like make your guys jobs easy. Timeline. Yeah, definitely timeline. It's Allotting huge. a lotting, you know, a certain amount of time for each, each section, you know, section of the day. So making, just making sure we have enough time. So we're not rushing. Right? Yeah. You know? This is the biggest thing is time. And yeah, at a wedding day and you're better off adding 15 minutes in between everything just a buffer room if you can right. afford it especially if that's it's, the most important thing oh. to you on your wedding day is your photos right yeah then and you're paying you know i don't know what the average package price is you know across like new england yeah but let's say it's five thousand dollars you know so you want to spend five thousand dollars where well yes we're going to capture you know everything from start to finish um but you want a lot of photos of you and your groom Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah. you, you want a lot of photos of the people that mean the most to you, you know, that are present at the wedding itself. Um, so if you're not allotting a lot of time, then you might be a little disa- dissatisfied with the end product. Be like, oh, I thought I had more photos, you know? Yeah. Right. Um, and that's another thing, you know, always get a second shooter. Always, always get a second shooter. Second shooters will, and some, most of the time, save the day because yeah. if you if you don't have a large time frame, right. second shooters, like, 
yeah, highly. Recommend. Yeah, I always tried to like buffer in like thirty minutes, like an extra fifteen minutes here and there, like between uh, events. Um, yeah. Especially if you have travel throughout the day. Oh yeah. Yeah, Newport. that's another thing. Oh. I would say yeah. Like what well, we were One talking location, about it, right? I, I think I did a wedding kind of recently, and I think I had maybe like two hours of drive time in between. You mm-hmm. know, so it's like, you know. We did prep, then we're going to go do the first look. The first look's like 40 minutes away, you know? Yeah. And then, so, all right, let's drive out there. And then, all right, now we got to go to the ceremony. All right. The ceremony's not at the venue. So, that's another 20-minute drive. And then, once the ceremony's done, all right, now we got to drive an hour to the venue. Mm-hmm. And it's like, man, you just wasted two hours on, right. uh, on you know, Car- hours that, that I'm driving around and yeah. where I could be working and getting more shots. And obviously that's all you know, by like, choice too. Yeah, and like, definitely. if they don't, if they're, they're and not a hundred percent like all yeah. about it, then that's cool. But right. definitely if photo and video are your most important, definitely a lot of time for that. Yeah. For I mean, sure. obviously we want the couple, they can pick and choose yeah. wherever they want to go. Mm-hmm. And right. if they're really adamant about that, totally Absolutely. we support you, you know, but it's just something to keep in mind. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you might not want to drive like an hour away mm-hmm. <laughs> somewhere, which is like a little more yeah. practical. But I feel like it's kind of like anything else. It's like, you know, keep it simple, right? Keep yeah, the day simple, simple, especially a day like that, that already has a lot of stress, has a lot of pressure, right? For the mm-hmm. expectation of it. Yeah. It's like, why go out of your way to like create these logistical challenges for everybody? And especially like in Boston and, and you know, even Newport, I feel yeah. like. And a lot of times couples will think um, for like the portrait sessions, right? I want to do my family photos here. I want to do my bridal right. parties here. I want to mm-hmm. do my portraits here. I want to go to these three locations for portraits. It's yeah. like, oh, slow down. Like you <laughs> booked your wedding at Bel Mare. It has beautiful views. Like you're not going to get better paid views. paid an arm and a leg to get there because yeah. it's such a stunning right. place and, and it's, like, it's so worth it. And there's but, so much variety even on their yeah. land. So it's just like, yeah. the more, it's, like, you just keep it in one place, like your photos are going to be great. When yeah. you're traveling all around, there's no time to like settle down and like just like really be in the moment, in, in the yeah. moment and taking yeah. photos. So it's like, yeah, definitely too many moving parts. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so timeline. And yeah. second, add a second shooter. Add a second shooter. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's another angle, another perspective to your whole day. Where like, yeah. the when, when I was doing timelines with couples last year, you know, just kind of <laughs> talking throughout the whole day, how, how it's going to work, how we work, you know. Um, I would always tell them like, you know, the lead photographer is really with the couple all, all day. Like right. that's their main priority. That's who they focus on. You know, couple and bridal party where the second photographer is really capturing a lot of the moments, the candid, emotions, yeah. the candids. Um, right. You know, you probably don't see this. The If you're at a wedding, you're probably not going to see the second shooter because they're like, right. you know, hiding in the, in the shadows, you know, yeah. they're yeah. taking those photos. And, um, you know, especially for like your ceremony, you know, you get additional like angles where yes. like the lead photo, you know, photographer might be really focusing on the couple or, you know, some ceremonies I feel like are like they five minutes long right, and it's yeah, like you barely have any time to, uh, to get photos. Um, so it's definitely beneficial to have someone who has a different perspective, who's capturing Absolutely. other moments, you know, where the, the photographer who's with the couple all day mm-hmm. might not be able to get to those moments or, you know, like detail shots, different yeah. things like that, depending on how the timeline does work. And it's really, you, you know, you never know how it could go. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, for you guys, like, what do you look for in a second? Like, what are some attributes? Like, Ooh. you know, what are you kind of putting on that? Attributes. Well, Someone, it can't suck. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be trash. <laughs> no, for me, I think it's somebody who's willing to help. Yeah. Um, hmm. People who are there like, hey, do you need anything? Or ask me like, hey, where do I need to be next? Or, you mm-hmm. know, I just don't want somebody like that's just not willing. They're just kind of like sitting there twiddling their yeah. thumbs. It's like, no, yeah. I want you. I want you shooting and I want you to be getting a totally different perspective. Um, and just helping out too. Like there's a lot of equipment to lug around, even for video. You know, just being on your feet, on your feet, off your phone. Yeah, <laughs> on your feet, off your phone. Yeah, that wow. should be like a motto. Wow. Yeah, we should put <laughs> get, get them on a decal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it just it's you know I, I think I look for the same thing too. Someone yeah. who's just like engaged. You know, it's yeah. like yeah. They're, they're here, they're present, and they're they're like wanting to help shoulder the weight. Yeah. You know. Definitely. Um, and then you're not having to drag them along like, hey, hey, you know. Okay, you go here now. It's more right. like, hey, am I good to go to the cocktail hour? Absolutely go. Yeah. Like, am I good to go to details? Absolutely go. Like, know the steps and just get to it. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, I think it's something we always talk about, like communicating up. So mm-hmm. if you are a second, you know, I, I really shouldn't be telling you much. Right. I don't think. Yeah. Um, I think you should be coming to me. Like, hey, where do you want me to go next? Hey, what should I, should I do this? Should I do this? You know. Right. Um, up, yep. Another thing, you know, definitely got to be on, like, on 
mission on task like right. the whole day. Like, you yeah. know, don't want to see you on your phone. Don't want guests to see you on your phone. Oh. Especially if we're doing video, you know, like I know that's, there's a lot more Dude. stuff that's moving around for that. And so if you have two people that can help, you know, setting up things, you're going to do it a lot faster than just one person. But mm-hmm. um, I think biggest thing for me is like, if my second is kind of, you know, space cadet a little bit, they're a little slow. Um, <laughs> that definitely like, well, it just, it's it, not very smart because it's like, <laughs> no. it just defeats the purpose of having a second because I yeah. feel like I'm by myself. Yeah. I've, I've, you know? I've had You're that happen where I feel like I'd rather be alone sometimes, right, exactly. yeah. you know, cause <laughs> you're not I'm helping me right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I mean, and I mean, maybe it, it's, uh, you know, maybe they started second shooting too yeah. soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, or, you know, they need a little m- bit more work, more training. Um, and maybe after the wedding, it's sitting down talking to them. All right. What, right. what do you need help with? Right. You know, yeah. cause yeah, your mind can be racing a lot. Um, when you're at a wedding, but I feel like, you know, after doing it for so many years, it's like, I kind of have the whole process the ideas like it's all in the back of my head I could go run through a whole wedding day and in like your that sleep. you know um and tell you a lot of things about a wedding so I think mm-hmm. you know definitely that's a that's a big thing like you want your second to actually feel like they're your second you know right um they're basically yeah. your second pair of eyes definitely because the lead is focused on getting the shots yeah. you know like and that's why like when you know we just came back from South Carolina and I was, you know, I was shoot, shooting lead <laughs> on the second. Oh, no, but, oh, how the turn but, you know, have turned. But it's like, it's having someone like Sean that I'm like, all right, in the back of my head, I know I'm good. All right. Like he knows, he knows what he's, he's supposed right. to do. And mm-hmm. that's how it should, like your yeah. second should create a level of confidence. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, exactly. I know that person's got it. Yeah. I'm not mm-hmm. worried. Did he mic up this person? Did he mic up that? Is the yeah. second yeah. audio going? The Video would be stuff? really tough. And that's, yeah. that's one thing where it's like, you know, working with Sean and, and probably Sean working with me and definitely some of our other shooters. It's like, I know, like, I don't have to tell them, you know, mm-hmm. and, they just and, know. and even if I do, you know, but it's just, it's a weight that's lifted off. Yeah. Cause like, I don't want to have to go into the wedding day knowing I do have a second, but I got to shoot this like I'm the only one right. here. Yeah. Um, Defeats the Because it definitely adds a little bit more pressure like we were talking about earlier, you know, like some things that can mm-hmm. kind of like, you know, frustrate you during the wedding day or it might throw you off. That definitely is up there for mm-hmm. sure, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I remember in the early days too, it kind of be like, yeah, you might have to carry this wedding. <laughs> you might be carrying this wedding. Um, right on. So should, that's why we have back issues. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Uh, (laughs) So true. Um, so we could go live. Do we want to go live? Do we want to go live? Do you have any more questions? Yeah. Do you you know more more questions? questions? I feel like I had one, but I don't know. More questions. Um, I, I did have a whole list here. Kind of went over founding members, early days Early days. Early days. Challenges <laughs> of scale. We could kind of touch on that. Working as employee versus freelance. Things we've learned. Bridal resource. We went over. We went over shooter tips. Have we gone over shooter tips? No, not really. Shooter tips. Like what? Um, <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> what tips? With uh, you know, for we, other we shooters don't, we who don't maybe give those. we're gonna give those out. <laughs> uh, we're gonna give some a couple freebies here. But nothing. <laughs> We won't give you can uh, you can see that on our uh, how we do it coming out on twenty twenty three. Let's just make it twenty twenty four at this point. <laughs> hey, we have a big process, guys. It takes a lot a lot it of time. Really you know, we're still fine tuning. I wonder if like outsider people like see our process and they're like, "What the heck are they doing?" I don't. Well, I do actually, you wonder? Well, I would. I don't. I mean, if I'm just gonna go off like the top, but like, I don't think a lot of people know how That's big true. our company is. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think if you looked at other, uh, vendors, so, you know, photo video companies that do mass scale of weddings a year, look at the quality at, at, of those companies and, uh, and then come back and look at our, our company and, <laughs> and see, you know, a lot of how hard we yeah. work and, and how much, you know, effort we put into what we're creating because, you know, I'll go on the knot, I'll go on wedding wire and I'll see some of the bigger companies. You might not know who they are. Uh, it's really easy to tell though. Just check their reviews. And uh, <laughs> throwing shade. No, no, I'm not. But I'm not. I'm not listing any any companies. Yeah. But um, you know, I think for us being a company that is getting to the 
250 plus mark, you know, 300 weddings and we're yeah. keeping an average turnaround time of one week per wedding, you know, right. um, and we're working on the video side of that right now. So I think, I don't think a lot of people understand that, you know, yeah. and uh, how much time and, and, and effort does go into your wedding. Um, cause right. we take it very serious. Right. You know? I don't feel like, I feel like we really try to try our hardest yeah. at it. Yeah. And we sure. really fine tuned everything where it's easy for other people to understand. It's easy for other people to get it. Right. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, so they can see it on their phone. They know all the shots that we're, we're trying to get. They can see examples of it. And then on the day of, you know, you get to experience it. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and that was always like important to us. I feel like from the beginning, like quality was always even probably more so than scale, like quality was always super, it was like top priority. Right. Um, and that's always kind of been, and then as we started to scale, like we didn't lose, it wasn't going to be like, oh, well, we're, we can take it all these weddings and yeah. make it more money. Like How do we quality is going to go down. It was always like quality oh. was still super important. It needs yeah. to be. Um, always. And I, I love that because it does, like we're able to do, I feel like scale is hard, quality is hard, like, and we're yeah. trying to do both. And, um, at I the same that. time. Yeah. I love that about <laughs> the company. Um, and like you said, like the turnaround times, like one week photo turnaround time. Like, Which is very much unheard of. Cause I couldn't do that on my own. Even, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Even on, a, on an individual level on a boutique and level. I, yeah. I mean, I th- and I think that's where having a bigger wedding company, you know, cause we have a, we have a pretty big staff and not mm-hmm. a lot of people know that either. Yeah. <laughs> but so, you know, having the people in office that can get the photos out, get videos out is super helpful where, yeah, you know, being by yourself and running a company, it's totally different. It's, it's totally so different. different. You're one person. So it's like yeah. you're doing the timelines. You, you got so much engaging, stuff to you're do. You're doing the editing, like you're doing your finances. It's absurd. Yeah. And I don't, and I think, I mean, that's, marketing. that's why me, you know, me and Tiana did not want to start a company by ourselves because yeah. they're, they're, I don't think a lot of people know how much actually does go into it's it insane. unless you do have your own company, you know? Yeah. I don't know how I, like you don't have free time did in the, well, you didn't have free time. I didn't, I wasn't doing anything well, anyway. Like <laughs> we all know. <laughs> well, yeah, we know that. But <laughs> no, I mean, but you think about in the beginning, like when were you never not in the office? That's right. so true. You yeah. know, like, all eleven o'clock, twelve like, o'clock. Yeah, exactly. Five in exactly. the morning. Like I remember you would roll in at like five a.m. because like, you couldn't I just sleep. Li- first, it's probably mm-hmm. stress. Three or four years, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're really grinding, and not yeah. to mention you were already, you were working with other companies before we had mm-hmm. even, you had even started yeah, yeah. Go Bounds, you know, done like three years. So it's like, yeah. you know, trying not to burn yourself out where, where you have like X, Y, and Z that you have to think about in the back of your head. And did I do this? And did I forget to do right. this? Oh shoot. I have a phone call, which you probably have one soon. Yeah. It's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes. Six minutes. Yeah. Minutes. So, you know, there's, there's just a lot that goes into it. Um, and I think mentally, like you're never really prepared for it. No. You know? You just got to work at it and keep, keep working. And, you know, as you fail, you get better. Yeah. And you improve. Oh, we fail a few times, but. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's what's made us stronger though. Like failing at our, um, our memory systems, like we've struggled with it. Right. But if we didn't struggle with it, we'd just assume that they were <laughs> backing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sometimes there's like, there's no Ooh. manual. Right. And I think that was the hardest yeah. part for me. Cause it's just like how do you do this like in yeah you know that's why we were what is that sound is that is it outside i don't know um but hello, like hello? going back to like the, like the memory cards our our system was uh import night of import night of yeah. and then you had mentioned like well we should buy more memory cards or something like that <laughs> me and i, I had like, that idea oh wow that's probably smart yeah <laughs> no probably I, I didn't say that somewhere i was just like that sounds expensive. <laughs> oh, and it was expensive. It was expensive. But it, it, it was, and it was, yeah, yeah even now. Like, well, how much money you spent? Yeah, I mean, the oh cards that we use are $150 for cards, so it's like this little, 1500 for 10 thing right here. It's insane. And, um, and, and think about 250 weddings. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you do the math. Yeah, lot. yeah, yeah. Butterfly in this <laughs> You don't use one card per wedding either. Right, no. like six cards. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was... Uh, eventually we did that but it was like it was like the cost to like what is it costing us yeah yeah and mm-hmm. eventually it's just like yeah we need to buy more cards yeah and i think we're still finally kind of <laughs> figuring it out you know yeah. now so. and then like last year to this year with like the gear was just like <sighs> the logistics of the gear and now it's just like yeah. right, everyone we're just gonna buy all this gear everyone's gonna have their own case it's so much more easy to yeah. have yeah well especially with so many of mind. employees right like 
if you have, you, you don't know who's using everything. So it's like things right. are coming back broken and you're right. like, who the heck just left this broken? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so like you don't thing. even know. Yeah. The expense of the gear. It's just like, that's another thing. We're like, the, even with our gear, we never yeah. cheaped out on like, you know, little things bought. add up. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, someone dropping a lens, something like that. Uh, yeah, but she paid for it. So it was all right. I wasn't referring to her. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. The only I, person who I, dropped I, a lens. There no, a there's been a few. Yeah. Who, who dropped? Oh, there's. Who the heck else dropped a lens? <laughs> the 7200. 7, oh, um, oh, oh. I did. I That was my fault. But <laughs> I did it. That's because I trusted my second shooters. I, yeah, I, you got I, it. I, I had to Sometimes trust Sometimes you're going to make mistakes. And then I picked up the tripod. <laughs> and then the whole. That was wedding so goes. <gasps> I was in front of everybody. It was yeah, in front dude. of a yeah. large group of people, and, and, I, and it fell from a very. Think, high. My, how did I feel? <laughs> just swoop it up. Yeah, it's good. They're built. Like, oh God! No. <laughs> <laughs> just, and just thank like, God, man. That tripod like, plate <laughs> saved oh, it. Oh, that's insane. That might Crazy. be one of those. Probably one of those guys yeah. over there. <laughs> but yeah, and that's a wrap, folks. Lock, locked her up. <laughs> I locked her up. Um, awesome. So just got off the call with a client. I'm not sure if we're going to air that, but, um, a couple of things did come up on that call, which I thought were like oh, yeah, very we noteworthy. Yeah. Um, which were, she said, you know, there's, there's not a lot of companies that do photo and video. Mm -hmm. Very true. Well, um, and then she said, there's not a lot of companies that do like photo and video. And then the video is like good and like creative. Um, and that was something that was very intentional, like from the beginning, we um, modeled ourselves after after Henry Weddings, and uh, he mentored us Shout in, out the, in the early. Yeah, Shout out Henry. mentored us and and still does. Um, okay, okay. Pester him with uh, questions. I remember being in the <laughs> Bahamas, the like, oh, will these cards work? <laughs> <laughs> hey, will these cards work in this new camera? Literally anything that goes wrong. Hey, why did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's super helpful. Um, he's great. Yeah, and um, remember that one time when we were all. Sp piled in your apartment oh yeah before we started no ac it all started AC with didn't it. work all started with henry yeah 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 he that was great was, that was just super helpful was, then you, a lot of things happened that day there was a <laughs> lot that went on yeah. that day why was there so much just some drama some drama do i not remember the drama oh you do okay we'll talk about it later that's for the off the pod. <laughs> Last question here, and then we'll get into some, hopefully some of their questions on the Instagram live. Oh, right. um, favorite wedding memory or favorite wedding? Oh. Whether it be the couple, the day, oh. experience. That's easy. Jason and Kristen all day. Jason Honestly, Kristen? I would have to say, yeah, I think it was an opportunity for us to bond more. We all had fun. Yeah, I, I mean, think I was stressed because I wanted it to be the stressed. best that it could be. I mean, like they're referring to the Palm Palm Springs. Well. Oh yeah, Palm yeah, Springs, Springs twenty twenty. Check it out on Vimeo. One. Great, great yeah. film. No, but I think seeing the results of yeah. our time spent there right. and with the couple, yeah. ugh, it just I wish every wedding was like a weekend away trip. Yeah. You know, um, but again, it boils down to like if I was doing that on my own, how boring. Right. You know. Yeah, so like yeah. it was fun to be there. It would almost be like oh, I gotta go out and like you're leaving your friends and family where it's like it almost feels like we're going on a we're going with our friends and not family but it's like yeah, a little exactly. vacation. Well, that, I feel mode. like I feel like that's even how the wedding felt. It felt yeah, like we were true. with friends and family. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I think that's like the benefit of like knowing your photographer and videographer. Yes. Right. Now, granted. You know, we love Kristen. We've worked with Kristen for years. And so, you know, I went to Italy with Kristen for her <laughs> wedding as well. So, like, we had time to bond there, uh, you know, over food and, and drinks. So, it's like you get to know, you know, her from that that experience. Yeah. And then, you know, Jay was just such a oh, such a great, great guy. So you know, funny. he's awesome. Super funny. Super relaxed. Um, you know, he's a character. And so, character. I think, you yeah. know, the culmination of all those two things, you know, my wife was able to come and you know we've all worked with each other for so long and yeah. especially with Steph too you know she's an intern but she's been an intern here for years it's always great bringing someone new you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. and they get that experience, experience yeah. you know get the full experience. I mean who you know <laughs> yeah. I never thought going into you know a wedding company that I'm, I'd be traveling around the country you know that about wraps it up with the founding members of Move um, Mountains Co uh, if you have any questions or comments feel free to you know drop them in the comments if you're watching through YouTube uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you on the next podcast. Definitely. Thank you, guys. Thank Peace you. out.